What's up guys? We are here at Croft State Park right here in Spartanburg, South Carolina. We're going to do a little fishing today, so let's check it out. <laughs> What's up everybody? Welcome to another Parks and Recreation video with Matt. Today we are here at a local state park by my house called Croft State Park, guys. They've got everything here from horseback riding, playgrounds. They've got the lake right here you can go fish. They have a pier that you can fish, but we are actually going to rent a boat from these guys. You can rent John boats, guys, for like 25 bucks for the entire day, right? So we are going to go and do that and get out there on the water, and we're going to do some fishing and see what we can catch today. Right here is a little map right here, what they call this, uh, Lake Craig, and that's where we are at right in here, all right? And then you got Lake Johnson right over here, guys, but this park is pretty big. I will definitely throw some more details about the place right there, but you can see there's the facilities and stuff right here, picnic shelters, campsites, all that good stuff. It's pretty cool. There's another map that they have right there. All right, and there's the GPS coordinates right there, too, guys, if you want to look that up. All right, guys, I am inside of the shop right here. As you can see, you can get shirts. They got some nice shirts right here, too. I'm probably going to have to get me one of those. They got drinks. They got ice cream. This is where you can come in and rent your boat. They have a lot of information about different stuff from mammals, fish, birds, mushrooms I see right there. You can find all in the area. Even got those cool mini blocks. I know a lot of you guys with kids out there love those mini block collections. They got some nice stuff in here, guys. But, yeah, you can come right in here. Here's, like, the little boat rental sheet right here. You can get kayaks. You can get tandems. You can get John boats. And that's what I was telling you. Look, 14, 15 bucks for four hours or 25 for an entire day you cannot beat that guys especially if you don't own a boat and you want to get out on the water and do some fishing and some sightseeing so this is the inside right here so we're going to go get our boat right now and get out there and see if we can get on some bass or anything i was letting you know i don't know if i'm gonna have service out here or not but we're gonna fish for a couple hours you there Um, is that a turtle in the water there? Mm. Uh -uh. This is a log. It's crazy. All right, guys, so we come down here to get our boat. You can see they have a nice little kayak launch area right there where you can rent kayaks. And here is the boathouse right here, guys. So check this out. They give you a number. They say this is which boat you get. You come down here. You find your number. See all these nice little cool John boats. And also, when you rent a boat, they, they come with your life jackets and the paddles and all that. But you can, like we did... Bring your own trolling motor with a battery and troll around the lake. So, pretty cool. This is our ship for the day right here, guys. We're getting it loaded up now. We're going to get out there on the water, as you can see. Beautiful view out there. I think we're going to have a good time and catch some good fish out here today. And right over here, guys, you can see that if you don't want to rent a boat, even though I highly recommend it because it's so cheap, like it's the cheapest I've ever seen in my life where you can rent a boat, you can just drive down here and go straight to this fishing dock right over there and fish off of that dock right there, guys. So they do have a dock. You can fish. And they got a bunch of little walking trails, as you can see. They got picnic shelters everywhere, guys. So pretty cool. But we are about ready to head off and see we can get on anything so let's do it All right, guys, so far I have caught one bass, but I didn't land it in the boat. I got it close to the boat using this little deep diver right here, purple and white kind of color with the treble hooks. But we're fishing out in the middle 
of the lake and we come over here to this little cove right here to see if we can nail anything and we've seen a uh, snapping turtle right over there decent size one too not huge huge but it was it was pretty big so we're gonna keep at it and see i'm about to switch over to a worm see if i can get anything on the worm That bird right there is probably the best fisherman in this whole lake. Let me show y'all a view of more of the lake. Let me zoom out. You can see we're in the boat. It's a nice calm lake. There's not a lot of boats. They don't allow like big motors on this lake and jet skis and stuff. Yeah, we're still cruising around, trying to find fish. My buddy David behind me on the boat, he just caught a brim off of a live worm. He's a decent little brim. Had a bright yellow belly, but we threw it back. It's just a brim. We know you guys don't really want to see a brim. All right, guys, check it out. My buddy done caught another brim. It's about the same size as the one he just caught a while ago, so... The worms is working for the broom right there, guys. All right, guys, not even like two minutes later, he's done caught another one using the worm with a small hook. Check the size of that right there compared to my hand. Like, that is a decent keeper right there, guys. Wow. That orange belly right there, that big black dot. That's nice. <laughs> All right, guys, check it out. I caught one this time. Look at that nice, decent size. Let me lay them down so you guys can see. Well, never mind, but you can see the cool blue and yellow in there. He's going to be busy. And it is coming up a storm right now right on us. <laughs> Y'all going to hear the thunder in the background, but, yeah, just uh, caught this drops. nice. Yep. Is it? Uh, I don't know. But, yeah, catching nice little broom all day out here, guys, just using this red worms right there. Actually, yeah, these are red worms. So let me go ahead and let this guy go and see if we can nail another one in the boat. All right, guys, as you can see, it is storming on us right now. You can see the rain in the water. We're staying out here for just a little while longer. Get you a better view of the lake. It's pretty decent. My buddy thinks he's getting a bite right now. He did. I saw the line go tight. So, yeah, there's a bunch of broom all over these banks. But so far, what I've learned is if you want to go for a bass, you're going to have to fish out there in the middle with some deep dives. Because I did hook one bass, but I didn't get them in the boat. Like, here, we go. here we go. We got one sitting there. Let's see if we can nail another one right there. But if not, we're going to start heading back to the dock over there and get back to the boathouse. And that will conclude this little short video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I am definitely going to plan another trip back here and give you guys a full tour of the park from everything from like, you can see up there, they got RV camping spots. They got tent camping. They even have a shooting range over here and all that stuff, guys. So be on the lookout for that video i'm definitely coming back to bring y'all a much better video we got out here kind of late in the day and we got to have the boat back by seven and it is almost that time that's why we've been making our way back to the boathouse right past that dock you see right there but i hope you guys enjoyed it i will see you in the next one peace